if I recall correctly, we should have all of the Pokemon from Pokemon Square taken care of. And what I have on my team is what I felt would be the best team based on all the Shadow Pokemon we've got so far. It's a weird, it's weird on the Orthodox, but that's the randomized rule do that to you. <laughs> Let me just double check to see if there's anyone else in town. I guess I can at least like trigger the factor of why we're not going into this cal. We've just been going to this PC and ignoring the calcium. I believe if we try to register for entry, then we get told that it's under construction currently. So we have to do something to progress the plot. I'm surprisingly, Kale is one of them. I could have sworn- I know you didn't have to do all of Pokemon Square, fight all the trainers in order to get to that point, but it is something. I just want to show off the fun of the randomizer. Who is it, the dude with that Pokemon? I think it was this one. Okay, I'll be honest, I was a little worried that that tweet would never end because I got freaking caught up on how to spell shenanigans. I think I finally found out- I didn't figure out how to spell shenanigans, but I think I finally figured out how to misspell shenanigans in a way where, like, of course you have explosion. <sighs> Autocorrect will find it out. Well, I mean, I at least have a ground or have a rock type that can survive an explosion. Yeah, I'm freaking gonna have to make my way back to the Coliseum again to heal before we can progress the plot. Perfect. Nah, uh, just perfect with a... On a day that I want to have a short live stream segment. Oh shoot. This type of audio is like... This thing's audio too. So, was that first half completely muted? I mean, good thing there was no plot progression, but I kind of wanted to tell the story at the dairy Lee. Oop, well, that's a problem for the Jack and K of the future when he edits the VOD, I suppose. But it just feels like with the Shadow Pokemon, I guess partly because like they can't gain experience right away, they have to compensate for that by usually making them significantly higher level than a lot of the other stuff that you would find at that particular point in the game. So they, they're like easier to swap onto a team on and off. Like, a lot of times with Pokemon... A thing I would do in Pokemon XD playthroughs is I would have like five par Because the Shadow Pokemon mechanics are so significantly unique... Different from Coliseum, I guess it's true, but more so just like... I wouldn't say integral in to play, but like, you get so much more out of the game if you use those mechanics. They always have to have like one temporary Shadow Pokemon on my team, no matter what, in Pokemon XD. And it's just like a fun time to actually swap around the Shadow Pokemon because of that. And I'm sorry, I'm just going on this on a battle that I don't really even need to do. And I can't even cut this out, cut it out of the bot because I'm telling the story within it. Yeah, I kind of forgot how long this would drag out. Maybe you'll go after Meganium, and maybe you will let you do something else. Yeah, I think we'll just enjoy some water until Jack gets more active. Or, or this battle's over. Because Meganium's really dragging it out. Alright. Speaking of problems, I keep progressing into the future. What should I do to progress the plot? It's been a little bit, but I think I remember how it goes. Especially because we got the Kale part done early. I think we need to find someone named Duking. And things will fall into place from there. This is the place I believe he lives at. The name's Duking. I run a Coliseum here. If you want to enter a Coliseum, go to the Coliseum's receptionist. Now, excuse me, I'm busy. I mean, we kind of tried to go to the Coliseum receptionist already and had a little iffies. There's nothing special behind the bookcase. I wonder if there's something special behind the bookcase. 
Oh, what do you know? There's something special behind the bookcase. <laughs> yeah. Hole behind the bookcase? Ah, eh, nothing suspicious there. No reason not to intrude. My sister and doesn't seem to chatter. I'm so bored. I want to play house. Are you Papa's friends? I'm Marsha. I'm pleased to meet you. But, uh, sorry, we're busy. We're talking about something that's quite important. Please come and play with us another time. Ugh, the early 2000s were a different time. That's why we have to somehow snag them from those criminals. Snagging? What's a little 10 year old knowing about snagging? I mean, what? Snagging? What is that? I mean, who knows how subtle we're supposed to be about the fact that we're an anti hero that steals away Pokemon from bad guys. Speaking of anti heroes, steals away Pokemon from bad guys. I think we came back in at just the right time. Interesting commotion that we caught in on. Silva's a friend of Duke King. Yeah, I wonder what was up with him. Not even flinching, not even like apologizing for having to witness an outburst like that. Then again, I don't know if we ever got permission to go into his house in the first place. Speaking of going into things, like, I feel like I was just beating by everything, not even taking in the sights of the town at all. I mean, the gimmick of the randomizer is in the battles, but if we just showcase the gimmick specific to the randomizer, we won't be able to get to see any of the fun stuff going on with the game itself. Oh, like most fortune tellers in RPGs, I think she can actually tell you what to do. if you get stumped or haven't played the game in a while. So yeah, you must make your way to the Coliseum. Your fortune has been told. And according to the win at the Coliseum, go do your best. A little particular of a situation. As best as long as they've actually talked to the fortune teller, I think I completely ignored her when I last played the game as a let's play. Which is unfortunate because the whole point of the let's play would be to show off the game. But I don't recall the music lagging on after you talk to her. I actually forgot about that music altogether. Oh, oh, I completely forgot. Speaking of, like, getting through things real fast, completely forgot about, like, the closest thing to this town having a police force. As you can tell from the fact that they're is completely run over by criminals, it's not a very good police force. The name Charles. Or Cheryl's. No. Are you two travelers? I suppose. I see. Where you are not, it would be best if you got out of town as soon as possible. The town's decided to say lawless chaos. I can guarantee ain't your safety if anything were to happen. You know the town has a problem when the law enforcement is telling you that the you should just get out of town. Oh yeah, I was I was a little confused because I didn't fight. Don't we not fight you until later? But this is Coliseum, not XD. Yeah, we fought them a lot earlier on, and they're just like... We're not gonna go to the boss again, we better turn ourselves in. I can't talk to this dude. Door is locked, and oddly, like, goes right to our key items. I wonder if there's something we can do about that I'm in the I'm just gonna get out of here. My mind, my mind's... I, my, I don't have my innocence anymore. So... To summarize the lore that we're gathering so far, apparently Duking used to be like the arm that really like kept this place together, ignoring the fact that we have a police force. Duking's the real man in charge. But Duking has been doing diddly squat lately. Where <laughs> if you were off for ten poses for ten kunis, would you want them? I mean of course, what a bargain. If there's still that good, I keep it myself. But I'm kinda curious oh well, I didn't mean to press yes again, I'm kinda I feel like there's some interesting dialogue from No. Oh, you have no spirit of fun. Meanwhile, we're here, we might as well, like, see if there's anything in our... Yeah, like, this is our first, second major town. Barely spent any time in the first, and we're already getting freaking hyper potions. Just to give you an idea of how the level curve really works with this game. Think we're, we're still good with super potions for a little bit, though. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about uh, technically a downside with this game. There's only one place to get Pokeballs in the entire game. I mean, it makes sense from a plot-related reason, but from a gameplay perspective, it's a it's very inconvenient. 
Thankfully, this gets fixed in Pokemon XD. Oh, I completely forgot that you were NBC that we missed out. You, I don't. I think I skipped you because you didn't have a Shadow Pokemon, but it is an amusing dialogue we get out of her. That's it! Be a man and stomp her down! <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess I'm new to how chivalry works in RA, but if that's how we want to go through it, I'm, who am I to deny them of the opportunity to show my well-defined chivalry? Also, I'm reminded that this is a randomizer. Okay. But it doesn't look like this battle is going to be anything too remarkable in of itself. Of course, I got like a great Shadow Pokemon staller, but nothing else. Forgot freaking Con Sport doesn't take care of both of them. Maybe we could just do a magical cut to when things start to get interesting. Oh, cool! Actually, I completely forgot we got the purification bar low well enough to get new move, and I think Meditate Meditate Raise Attack, and I believe Shadow Rush is treated as a physical attack in this game. Yeah, another unfortunate thing is just like, it's, a, it's typeless, but it's also universally a physical move, and there's no way to like, play around with the Shadow. <laughs> Remember when I was saying that <sighs> this battle was gonna be uninteresting? Well, guess who was wrong about that? Frickin' don't judge a book by his cover, Jack K. <laughs> I mean, Whisper kinda just shot itself in the foot by frickin' doing the fire type super move against a water legendary, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. Is anyone here gonna complain about that? I don't think so. Now, I mean, unless that Wismer actually does something devastating. I don't think we got too much to worry about. Alright. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna, like... I just keep a, just keep one... One eye on the stream. For time, cause... I don't... I'm a little conflicted. I wanna go out and... See what, what everyone else is up to, but I get to. But I do want to at least go for half an hour on this. But there's also the factor that probably by the time I get done doing this, or get done with half an hour, I don't think they're gonna be out past 10 o'clock. We really like doing half an hour of this. What man battles a frail girl without easing out? You gotta knock it when the hearts of girls like that. Well, if really any indication, it seems like I'm not gonna have to worry about getting a new girlfriend anytime soon. I mean, it's never actually stated. But with the way she freaking react, can't she at least assume that's implied? Anyway, I'm pretty sure nothing happened here. <laughs> I guess something did happen here, and the game won't let us ignore it. Silva? Well, everyone's dead. <laughs> he ripped out and ripped off one of the gears. The calcium's gonna go without power. Chief, are you alright? Yeah, the only thing bruised my pride. It's only Silva, so I was expecting trouble, huh? But Silva's do King's trusted lieutenant. What's his motives for doing this? That's what I wanna know. He kept rambling on how the calcium could just shut down or something. Sorry, we're young. Stop. I'll be fine now. But I need to ask you a favor. Will you hear me out? Sure. I can imagine. I think I skipped a little bit of lore, but like this, this town runs off this that Coliseum, so I'm sure we're gonna have to find a gear. Plus, as we know, we can't really do anything until we have a battle in the Coliseum. And I'm pretty just to clarify, if we go over here to try to fight in the Coliseum. We're obviously if we couldn't get into the Coliseum before, I don't see how we're gonna get into that Coliseum when it's got no power. Thankfully, the healing machine still works, even though there's no power in this place. It must be on, like, a backup generator provided by the Pokemon Universal Healthcare <laughs> or something. And, actually, 
it feels like a little bit since we last saved, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. Plus, I get to test out something. Yep. All better now. Now, remember when they said... I don't know if they just expect you to figure this out by trial or error, but remember when they said last time that there'd be a little bit of foreshadowing and that was the only reason we were forced to make that detour? Like before we... even though we were told to go straight to Pyrite, there was a stop along the way we had to make first. I'm pretty sure like they had to just put it on the map. Just fight us. And they could like go... I could play dumb and go like, oh, what if we go to Panic and see if he went all the way over there, or if th this, or like that. <laughs> some guy came wandering a while back, threw out some trash and then took off. What's this place look like? There's no garbage dump, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's your clue that what we're looking for is here. But where could this thing that we actually be looking for possibly be? I mean, the sparkling object in the corner there is a good hint. I don't know, like, I mean it sparkles, but still, even with that shine, it still kind of blends into the background. I'm wondering how many people just completely overlook that that gear is over there. I feel like the only reason I would know to check it is because, like, this game's my childhood. So, of course, I've done it several times in the past. I'm kind of curious. It's been way too long to even remember if I knew about the gear right away. If, like, that little tiny sparkle was enough. Because, like, in most Pokemon games, it's just a tiny... It's like a sparkle in the ground and not, like, a gi giant gear that could be part of the background otherwise that kind of would have to sparkle. Anyways, let's just do what we got with that gear. No, no, no. I reckon he agonized over this... And did it because he thought it was right. I can't blame the man for that. Ah, you people. Hmm, <laughs> I think. How do you know we actually found the gear? Well, I, I mean. If we take away the assumption that everything goes into hammer space, I guess. Holding one. Hold. If we had giant gear. It'd be pretty obvious we had giant gear. There's not like too many places for us to put our stuff. So let it be, and let us see. Thirty long years of cranking the gear. Thirty long years of cranking gear. I can tell you're a man of courage and honor. I have a favorite ass. Will you hear me out? I'm curious to see what he says when he said no, but I don't have the heart. I mean, that's what we've been trying to do this entire day anyways. I'm trying to do it for several hours. So let's just hop on in and go do that. <laughs> 